What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the newest update to Koala Sampler. Um, it's a really, really nice feature that they added with this update called AUV3 functionality. Um, so what that means is you can add Koala Sampler to your um, AUM session as an AUV3 plugin. Um, and the benefit of doing that is um, you're able to put multiple instances of Koala Sampler um, in AUM. And why that might be beneficial is you can have separate instruments um, going to different channels, essentially. So if you just want to separate your drums from your melodies, you can do that um, and add effects to those separate instances. Um, and you couldn't do that before because Koala Sampler um, used interapp audio to connect with AUM. Um, and you know when you added an effect to that channel it affected the entire project you weren't able to affect separate sounds um, the other addition which is really just an extension of this um, feature is the ability to send your sounds to separate output buses um, and with that you're able to affect sounds separately from each other um, so what I mean by that is if I wanted to add reverb to just my um, snare or just my pad, um, there's no way to do it in the app and there wasn't a way to do it with interapp audio. With AUV3 multi-output buses, I can send my drums to a separate channel and by doing that I can affect my drums separately from my melodic sounds. I think that's a really cool addition to Koala Sampler. So I'm just gonna walk through how you can get that done and you know what you can do now that we have this functionality. So I'm gonna close out of this. Another thing that the developer added was the saving of projects is now a little bit different. So when you saved a project before, it would compile it all into a folder with you know different, different files within that folder. Now when you save a project, it saves it as a Koala file so it's a it's a file system that's read by the app for you to be able to use koala sampler as an auv3 um, plugin in aum you have to save your projects before using it in aum um, so basically I'll, I'll show you how to do that real quick so you would go to koala sampler standalone you go to the hamburger menu and you really just save and you do that for every project that you had uh, made before this update. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, close out of this because I've already saved the project, go to AUM, and I'm going to first I set my tempo to the project tempo, which was 70. And then I'm going to add a channel, go to the insert, I'm going to select audio unit extension. To do that, Scroll down to Koala Sampler, and now it's showing up, which is really, really neat. Select that. And now if I open Koala Sampler, it's going to open up in its own window within AUM. And this is a familiar thing if you've ever used um, other AUV3 apps within a AUM. Um, so the next thing you want to do is you want to load your project. Or you can just start a new project but in this case I want to show um, the the new update and what you can do with it so this is a project that I made before I actually made it for my April jams challenge um, it's number 27 uh, it's gonna be up in the corner here um, so I'm going to just walk you through how do we affect our separate sounds so I'm gonna to go to my drums which I know is on page 4 So what I want to do is I want to send these sounds to separate channel. Um, so I'm going to go into sample here, I'm going to hit edit, and I have my kick already selected. But I want to hit the arrow to get to this page. This is your, this is the page that you can select your channels. Um, so I'm going to select two because one is the default for all of your sounds. So I'm going to select my other sounds. Snare, clap, 
and they're all going to number two. So nothing's happening. You don't hear anything when I'm hitting these notes. You're just going to add another channel, go to audio. And this time I'm going to go to multibus audio unit instances. And that's where you find Koala Sampler. And as you can see up here, the number two, that's the next channel available. Um, and that's where all of my drums are going to. So now you can hear, now you can hear those sounds because we have a channel for those sounds. So now I can go ahead and add an effect slot for my drums only. I'm gonna add in this compressor. I'm gonna turn down the threshold, turn up the ratio a little bit, and So I like adding this effect to drums because it kind of glues everything together and makes it sound a little bit cleaner and tighter. Um, the other thing I could do is I could add, you know, reverb or delay. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I want to showcase another benefit to being able to send sounds to separate channels. And that is you can now sidechain with Koala Sampler. Uh, you couldn't do this before. It's so cool that they added this functionality. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have all of my sounds here. I'm just going to add a compressor to my main sounds. I'm going to use Rough Rider because I know it has side chaining. I'm going to go to Rough Rider, turn on external side chain. And if I play it now, you're not going to hear a difference. So yeah, you didn't hear a difference because it's not receiving any signal from the kick. Um, in order for you to hear that side chain pumping effect, you need um, a signal going to it to affect the sound to where it um, ducks down whenever it hears the kick. Um, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our drums here, um, or if you just send your kick to this channel, you you know you go to wherever the kick is. So in this instance, I have the kick with the drums here. I'm going to select this effect slot. I'm going to go to Multibus Audio Unit Instance. I'm going to select Rough Rider because that's the compressor that's on the main channel where all my sounds are. Um, and that's where I want to send my kick to. So I'll select it here. And then I'm going to hit play and then you're going to notice a difference. It's subtle, but I'm going to adjust the settings. And now you can hear it's a little bit more pronounced. So now you can hear that side chaining effect. Um, you know, this is a completely native thing. This is not a workaround. Um, you used to have to use um, various different resampling techniques in Koala Sampler to get that side chaining effect. Um, but now you're able to do it, and it's really cool. And I appreciate the developer for um, releasing these updates um, pretty regularly. I mean, in the last um, less than a year, there's been quite a bit of um, features that they've added, um, which is really nice. And yeah, I mean, this is this is really cool. All right, that's it, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you wanted more tutorials on um, Koala Sampler or, you know, just showcasing the app a little bit more. Um, check out my other videos. Really appreciate the support I've gotten on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll check you out on the next one.